Hello, good morning, and welcome to another episode. This morning, the US ICCU update for the EV6 and EV6 GT has finally come out. It's taken, well, more than a month since I first posted about this story on March the 13th. This is what it says. SC302 is the number, ICCU and fuse inspection replacement and ICCU software upgrade SC302. This bulletin provides information to inspect and if necessary replace the integrated charging control unit ICCU and fuse on certain 2022 to 2024 MY EV6 and EV6 GTs produced between November the 17th 2021 through to February the 7th 2024. This bulletin also provides information to update the ICCU software. The ICCU may become damaged over time from transient high voltage and thermal cycling, resulting in a DTC of P1A9096 being stored. A damaged ICCU may, may not be able to charge a 12 volt battery, which can discharge gradually whilst driving with progressive reduction in motive power. If the driver ignores the warnings associated with the discharging battery condition and continues to operate the vehicle in reduced power mode, the vehicle may eventually experience a complete loss of motive power increasing risk of a crash. Follow the procedure outlined in the publication. One, to inspect and if necessary, replace the ICCU and ICCU fuse. And two, update the ICCU software. And also it mentions the affected VINs, but I think almost every single one is going to be, apart from newly manufactured ones. And the DTC description it mentions is P1A9096 DC to DC converter input voltage sensor fault. It's very similar to the previous ICCU recall. You've got the same flow chart. Under the, under the ECU upgrade procedure, it mentions uh, what it actually does, which is ICCU LDC FET protection logic improvement in brackets EWP and VPEAK. Now that ties up with the rest of the recall campaign details that you find on NHTSA and how they were going to fix it. So that's to fix the field effect transistor protection logic and also increase the water pump frequency which is the EWP to protect from voltage peaks. Also note that um, they must mark the upgraded ICCU with a V if they've upgraded it and also if, if it's already got a V that means it's come manufactured with the software update installed and it's the same version 13 software as the Hyundai's and if I scroll down to the warranty section Warranty information down there. You'll notice the labor op code 241041. It's the same as the rest of the world's recall campaign number, as usual. Anyway, um, in the US, I've not seen anybody actually get the recall letter yet. Maybe some have got emails, but they're still not able to get this update done. But I'm hoping now they're finally moving forward with it. So if I find out anything else, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Great thanks to Alan SH on Kira EV forums for putting these TSBs up, otherwise we would not be able to see them unless they appear on the NHTSA website, which it currently isn't. So I know Alan stayed up all night waiting for this, so many thanks to Alan. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.